Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and my guest is public health nurse for the city of St. Louis, Eileen Weber. Welcome back, Eileen. We've been talking about asthma. Mm -hmm. uh, the month of May is Asthma Awareness Month yes. nationwide. Yes. And um, so we've been talking about all the different things that trigger asthma. But if you have asthma, if you've identified you have it, what do you do? Well, one thing I want to emphasize is that asthma can't be cured but it can be controlled. Mm. And we really encourage everyone with asthma to become able to manage it themselves. And the number one way that we recommend to do this is to speak with your doctor to develop what we call an asthma action plan. Mm. And this action plan is kind of like a guide that tells people when to take their medications and you know what to do if their breathing problems escalate. And it's kind of broken down into a green zone, a yellow zone, and a red zone. So like a stoplight, we always want to be in the green zone and you know we're going safely around. And then if you're in the yellow zone, that's caution. Mm -hmm. There might be some more problems breathing. You might have a cough. You might be wheezing a little bit more. And you might complain of some chest tightness. Mm -hmm. So that would be a sign you might need to add some more medication and talk to your doctor. And then for sure, if you're in that red zone, you know, that's an emergency. Mm -hmm. You need to call 911, get to your doctor right away because it can really escalate fast and it could be a life-threatening problem then. Right, right, absolutely. So the asthma action plan, um, the graphic we had, you can Google that, probably um, download that form, but take it to your doctor. Absolutely. Work with your doctor to, um, to help figure out um, a plan of action. Yes, and we definitely recommend that anywhere you go, if you have asthma, you want someone to ha have that plan. Mm. So like if your child has asthma, you wanna make sure that you're giving that plan to their school or their coach. And if you're an adult, you might wanna bring it to work. Right. Just in case something triggers your asthma when you're not at home, you want to make sure that everyone around you knows what to do. Right. So, because I think we forget how serious, especially for those of us like me who do not have asthma, how serious it really is. Absolutely. Yes. Asthma, unfortunately, can escalate fast if you're having breathing problems. And so the sooner you know you get to your doctor and the sooner you uh, take medications, you know, that's going to help and we so want to prevent. Let's talk about medications um, mm -hmm. and, you know, t what are types of medications that a person with asthma might, might use? So there are two types of medications. We have what's called a longer acting controller medicine. So that might be a medicine that you would take daily mm -hmm. to prevent you from getting these asthma attacks. And of course, you'd want to continue taking that even if you're feeling better because you don't want to have those attacks. Right. And then there's the quick acting medication that if you're having an asthma attack, you might need to take that. And I, of course, I advise anyone that has an inhaler, we usually use a quick relief inhaler, take that with them wherever they go as well. Mm -hmm. You know, you should always have that just because you never know when you're going to need it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for parents, what are the signs that they should be looking for with their young children who might not be able to verbalize um, their, their physical um, uh, symptoms? Right. Sometimes, you know, they just might not be functioning as well as normal. They might be tired all the time. Mm. They might not be eating as well. Sometimes it might look like a cold. They may have a cough at night that's not going away and, you know, it's not a virus or something like that. Mm -hmm. So those would definitely be reasons to check with your doctor. Okay, very good. So, so be alert for signs in yourself and your family members for um, anything that might be asthma related. Absolutely. So remember that May is Asthma Awareness Month. And for more information, you can visit the City of St. Louis's Department of Health at 1520 Market Street, room 4051, or call them at 314-612-5100. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.